Hey guys, Von Kloy here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really good day. This right here is a Nerd QX Plus. And if you don't know how to update your Nerd X, stick with me, because today we want to take a look into that. So, we got a Nerd QX Plus with, with us here today and a Nerd X. And the update functionality on both of them is basically the same. What is really important, it now does look very different and it behaves a little bit different. But what we're going to do today is want to make sure that we are running on the latest and greatest firmware on these devices because it's the same process on both of them. I do assume that you already do have your Nerd QX or Nerd X or whatever Nerd X variant you do have with you. It's already up and running in your home lab and you do have it running on your network. Because now we want to take a look into the software and how to do it in the web UI. So now we are on the web page of the Nerd QX Plus here in this example. You do see it is currently ramping up, but that's totally fine. I just rebooted it because I was taking place over here and make sure to explain it to you and how to do it. So the dashboard itself looks kind of new, kind of different. If you're not running or if you do not have this dashboard already, you're probably running on an older version of the Nerd X firmware, which is a derivative of the BitX firmware, and it is specifically designed to run on these devices. So what we wanna do here today is we wanna take a look into settings and we wanna take a look on how to do it here. If we do scroll down all the way, we do see we have the check for the latest release. If we click on that, we do see the latest release is the version 1.0.28.1. If you do not have this version, or if your version does totally look different, like two point something or so, you're running on the wrong firmware. What you wanna do then is go over to GitHub. Let me quickly do that. GitHub.com slash shifts slash ESP dash ESP dash minor nerd QX plus. This right here is the repository for the firmware for all the Nerd X variant devices. And you wanna make sure that you're running on this firmware and not on any other one. This is from the Open Source Minus United community as well. It's a member of this community and he's doing a fantastic job when it comes to this firmware and changes and fixes and so on. So this is the latest and greatest firmware that you wanna run on all your Nerd QX devices, the Nerd X itself and what else comes there. So what we do have in here is on the right hand side, we can click on releases and if you do that, we do see uh, there are currently some beta releases, so we scroll down, and this is the latest, the version 1.0.28.1. This is the version, and currently we do have the 13th of April. This is the latest. So if you watch this video probably in a couple of months, make sure to do the same steps and look for the latest release. What you will find in here are factory files. Usually you're not really interested in that. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the www.bin file, this right here, as well as the corresponding ESP minor uh, .bin file. So in my case, I would need the Nerd QX Plus bin file, but what you could also do is, if you do have a Nerd QX Plus Plus, just download this .bin file. If you do have the oct eggs or the hakes or the standard Nerd eggs or even the Nerd X gamma, then you need the, the corresponding bin file for that. And if you do run on the older firmware that was previously been used, what you need to do after you downloaded them, you need to rename them. So you just go into your download directory and rename the file to esp-minor.bin because on the older firmware, you need to have the naming scheme for the firmware file to esp-minor.bin and the www.bin has never really changed, so that's totally the same. On the newer firmware, you do need to use the corresponding naming scheme, in my case, the Nerd QX Plus. And if you do take a look into the dashboard, let me quickly swap over there. We do see it is looking for Nerd QX Plus down there. So if you do have a Nerd QX Plus, make sure to check it on your settings page, scroll all the way down, and then you need to figure this file out. And if you do run on an older firmware, again, rename it to esp-minor.bin, 
you only need to do this once because as soon as you're on the latest release on this firmware, you don't need to do this renaming thing again. This is just to get you from the old firmware to the new one. So what you wanna do now is a little bit different than what you are used to from your BitX device. On the BitX, you just have a button to upload and instantly flash the corresponding firmware. Here, it's a little bit different. What you do is you click on browse, and then I need to go into my downloads directory and look for the esp minor nerd qx plus bin. I select it and now nothing is happening. What you then need to do is you need to click on flash in order to update it. So if you're running on the version 1.0.27, for example, then you can just do it this way. But if you're running on, the, on a totally different version, hence the fact that we needed to rename the old firmware to the firmware file to esp-miner.bin, then it will look the same as on the BitX. But basically that is the change on, from the old firmware to the new firmware. And now that we are on the newest firmware, what we can actually do is I browsed for the file, I can click on flash. Let me quickly show you this with the www.bin file because then the device is not rebooting. So I browse for my www.bin file, I open it, and now what I can do is I click on flash. And you do see this over screen here on the web page. It is currently uploading it to the device itself and it's trying to unpack it and it's trying to initialize the OTA update functionality. You will live see the percentage of how far away or how close we are to 100%. It takes a couple of seconds. Here we go, we do have a success website updated successfully and it restarted the web page. So now you're on the latest firmware. That's basically it on how to update your NerdX devices. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna know more, make sure to leave a comment in the video description down below. And with that, I quickly wanna thank everybody who is a member of this channel. And if you're not a member already, make sure to do so if you wanna get some premium content on that. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.